Okay. Swing those arms side to side, guys. Open up the shoulders. Open up those ribs right here. Okay. Now go all the way around. Go the other way four times. <laughs> One more. Okay, scissor your arms and bring your, oh, that doesn't work. There we go. Scissor the arms, bring the knees up. Now kick your legs straight. Okay, 10 air squats. Come down, let those elbows almost touch. Don't go all the way though yet, okay? Let those knees get warmed up. Five more. Push your hips back. Push them back. Okay, hands on the leg. Drop the shoulder in. Open up from here all the way down to the back. Okay, other side. This one feels so good on my back. Okay, arms up. Interlock your fingers, bring your feet a little closer together. Open up those ribs. Same side. Now the other side twice. Okay, knee squat. Five, hold it up here. Now we're going to go around the world. Break it the weight. Come down. All the way around. Three times, guys. Meet me at the top. Other side. Five to the I'm going to catch up on all those numbers. Everything's going to equal 10 at some point. <laughs> One more. Good. Okay. Now, guys, we're going to reach down to the center. You can jump. I recommend you don't jump yet, but if for some of you want to get some springs in your feet, you go down and you jump. I'm just going to go down for the stretch. I'm alternating, I'm bringing that shoulder into the midline. And you are leaning forward, okay? Focusing on the glutes and stretching out your back. One more time. All right. Keep your feet now a little narrower. You're gonna bring up your hands. And squeeze, okay? Bring them back up. You see the shape. I'm wide. I'm not up here. I'm not in an I. I'm in a Y position. And squeeze. Squeeze. Six. Four more. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, boy. That feels good. Interlock your fingers. You can bring your knees up. We're stretching out that chest and your shoulders. That feels good. Sorry, I had to hold that stretch. That felt good. Some Wednesday workout, I think. Okay, guys. Let's start to add some weight. You're going to grab your lighter weights. I'm going to grab my three or five. So we're getting into a narrower stance. We'll probably stay here with that. And we're gonna use our shoulders. So you can modify by just not using shoulders or you can bring them up, okay? I'm alternating, I'm not ready for my neck to feel that overhead press. 
I'm on six. I'm going to go four more. One more time. Nice. Okay, externally rotate. Okay, 
So again, pressing those hips forward, getting that finish, that squeeze. Okay, nine to go. Get going. Off the top of that leg. Going to go into is some lunges. And for some reason, my uh, right leg was barking at me on those last sets of set, uh, squats. So here we go. So we're going to do one set of lunges and we're going to go into some wide squats, bringing in those shoulders again. We're going to do an upright. So let's pick the weight. That you want in your shoulders, but not overdo. Okay, so don't go more than 10 on this. I'm going to five, three, three. Okay, so we're going to start with the wide, then we're going to go into those lunges. Okay, so you're going to come down and pull it up. Okay, two, three, four. Hold your abs tight when you're here in that position. Okay? Ten to go. Lunge away. So you can see you can see both my feet. I'm not hiding that back leg because I want to have stability. Okay. So my arms are up here. What we'll do is we'll do a bicep curl with this. I think the shoulders are probably happy to take this one out. Okay. So go down and curl. One more. Upside. Always have your palms facing away from you towards the laptop. Leslie, who's uh, been bouldering and mountaineering all the way up mountains of the 
Rockies. What you want to do, for any of you who are hiking and all that, that front leg, let's get started with my right, that front leg is the working leg. It's as if you are stepping up on something and bringing yourself up. So a lot of that weight is there, okay? Drive it up through the heel, so you feel it in your B-U-T-G, okay? Bicep curl. Front leg, feel it. If you feel that stretch in the back leg, bring it closer or take it wider. Super good measure, okay? I'll go for 12. Let's stretch help so that it's gone. Thank goodness. Here we go. Front leg. Drive up your body. Feel it in the B U T T. Top of the leg for sure. But don't feel it so much in the back leg. Let's go four more. One, two, three, and there's our four. Okay, guys. Bandit. We are going to do some reverse slides for coming down low. So, we're going to go into what I call is that one legged Superman. Two coming down. Okay? You can just focus on that. Just like that, okay? Or, take the band and pull it apart. As you see, it's down here. It's not out here. It's down low. And you're pulling it, okay? So this is sort of a do it yourself, right? Obviously. On your own, at your own pace, to get that position where it's coming up. I'm letting it touch the top of my chest, okay? Keep those arms straight. See, yeah, I'm not bending. They're not here. They are straight and I'm pulling, okay? All right, take a rest on that to help you get that sense. Maybe you already got it, but I'm going to focus on it, okay? So, I'm going to stand hip hinge, okay? So you can see I'm here, I have a slight bend in my knees. My back is flat, okay? This is down, and it's right above my shoelaces. It's right above my shoelaces, and I pull it out, okay? Pull apart and feel all of that here, okay? Why are we doing this? Well, we're doing it because we focused a lot on the lower lat on Wednesday. I'm working upper back, rhomboids, posture muscles that are higher. Okay, and come on up. You felt the load in your back. You sit down. Okay? Your feet have to be knees, uh, feet under the knees, and it's here, okay? Do a long recovery in the legs, because we still have another set of legs too. Just for the record, okay? So you can see my feet are real close to the chair, the legs of my chair. I'm leaning forward, and I'm pulling, okay? Tuck your chin in, and pull, okay? I'm sure you've all plenty, done plenty. I just wanted to, I, I kind of a stickler for form when I'm training people, and I don't see you guys, so I worry. So, all right, put that band down. Let's go back to that lunge. We're gonna do another set. I think I said we're only doing one time. Never believe me. So, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do a bicep curl with it, okay? 12 and 12. Hold on to the chair if you need, if you need this, then do a straight leg raise and a kick, okay? Everybody else, 
curl, and lunge. Curl, lunge. So those, hand, those dumbbells are out at an ankle now. Okay, let's switch legs. Hopefully you guys got a good solid burn. If not, then we need to have you go deeper. We'll go heavier, okay? Let them out. Look down. You should see the inside of your arms, okay? Palms are almost facing towards the wall. Okay, here we go. 12. Let's go the old-fashioned way now. We're going to pump it 
like it's a lawnmower and start it. Okay? So, we're at the angle. Palms are facing me and drive it up, okay? Much easier, huh? Three, four, that's why we'll do 15. Five, ten to go. One. Three to go. Other side. Go guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, are you all ready to get down on the floor? I am. So you sorry, but I put the Bee Gees on. If you hate disco, sorry about that. Sing to yourself, maybe then. I put new and old together. So, I'm gonna use this chair for some things. I'm gonna leave it right here. If you have a stability ball, that's when you wanna bring that into play, okay? When you see my legs up on the chair, okay? So, I am using the band today and I'm using moderate weights. Um, okay? Sound good? In the meantime, you're gonna do a walk down with some mountain climbers. And then you do one push-up, not one push-up, but a set of push-ups, and then we will roll down onto the floor, okay? So, start out with your walk out. And then go into your, your mountain climbers. Do 20 of them on each side, okay? And then go into your push-ups. It's up to you, and then you can roll around your back and get ready for the, as the rest of the core, okay? So, you probably into your push-ups. I'm just going to do a few. Remember, you're only doing one set. Many as you can. And then you're going to roll over onto your back, onto the floor. Roll your knees up into your chest. Bicycle your legs, big circles. Small, the small of your back is down. So how many of you guys remember the line dances? <laughs> line dances, I think I was in junior high. Bicycle those legs. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna reverse them. Flex your feet and reverse. Reverse slow motion. This is slow motion, Leslie, when you are walking on icy sidewalks and you're about ready to slip. That's the motion. You're gonna see it in somebody, hopefully not you. And hopefully, not your husband. Oh, okay, take a rest. Now the bridge is. 
Hold it up there, okay? Hold it up there. Take your hands, bring them up over the head, tuck your chin in. Take a couple deep breaths. And come on down. Okay, this is when you want to bring your stability ball in. I know, Mary, you have one. I don't know if anyone else does. But otherwise, bring some kind of a stool or bench. And don't let it slide, okay? So, what you're doing is you're doing a bridge with your feet here. So your feet are on the ball and you lift up, okay? So it's a higher range of motion. It's gonna work more of your hamstrings, okay? Two, keep going. I'm using the balls of my feet, balls of my feet, I'm not on my heels. And that helps me feel it lower all the way down to the back of my knees. Not much in the calves. I don't want you to feel it as much in your calves. Okay, roll your knees up. Extend each leg. You should have felt that in the hamstrings, guys. Okay, another set. If you didn't feel it, bring it in closer. Okay, and I'm on still like the arch to the balls of my feet. I'm going to get my hands out of it. So they're going to come up over my head, and now I'm going to lift up all the way. My hips are up level with my abdominals. Two. We're going for ten. Three. Keep those arms straight over your head. Let them hover. We got two more. There we go. And extend those elbows knees. Okay, one more round. Ten of them, guys. Get those hips closer to that. Now, if you have weight close to you, grab it and put it over your head and hover, okay? And then lift up. Ten. You should be doing those hamstrings, guys. And come on down. Straighten out those legs again. Offset that flexion. All right, let's move this away. Actually, if you put your feet over like a ball or the chair doing your crunches, it helps you keep it in your tummy and out of your low back. So you can use it for that. Otherwise, imaginary chairs is what I have right here. Put my hands behind my head. I'm going to do 25 of these crunches. I'm going to start with my elbows flared, and then I'm going to gradually bring them up tight. Okay? Changes just to where we feel it in the abdominals. Elbows back. those elbows in a little bit. Tuck them all the way in. Ten more. And bring it down. All right, guys. We're going to keep our legs straight. We're going to combine now some upper body. We're going to do that pullover. Find your medium to medium to heavy weight. I've got fives in my hand. My palms are up or my palms are facing each other. It doesn't matter. Suck your tummy in and then arms go over the head and bring it back. Hold those abs tight. Your back is not flat.
Four more. All right, now you're going to lift one leg up. You're going to do 10 flies, chest flies, okay? Tighten up those quads, tuck that chin in. Feel this in your chest and your abdominals. Don't go too heavy on this because we're doing 20. Switch. Lift that leg up and arms out and together. Suck in the tummy. Tighten up that quad. Focus on the chest. Put the weights down. Hands are behind the head. Your legs are still straight. You can cross them. Suck it in. Elbows back. And let's go for 25 again. Here we go. Look upward. Do not look to your feet. Another 10, because we're doing 20 repetitions for the chest. So your hips are up the whole time. Pick up one foot, just pick it up a little bit, and come out for 10. Chest flight. Two. You should be feeling this in your glute. Other side, switch, hold those hips up. Don't be dropping them, okay? Gotta be level. Push those hips up. Ten of these. And there's my ten. One for good measure. I don't know about you guys, but I felt my butt big time. Oops, I should have spelled it. B-U-T-T. -T. <laughs> I gotta keep this G rated, huh? Okay, guys. 25 on each side. Bicycle elbow to knee. That equals about a minute. So, I don't have my watch on. So, here we go. Don't just rotate. Two more to go, guys. <laughs> I say you because I lost count. <laughs> this feels like it's about. 25 on each, which is 50. So if we really counted, that's at least 100 crunches that we did. So we still have more to do. Well, we did those bicycles, so technically we're done. So we're going to lie on our side. And you're going to do a hip rotation. If you want, you can do up here and do this. Might as well, huh? Or just stay down here. Either way, it's a foundation exercise to do to keep our hips healthy. Keep 
keep going. 13, 14, you've got five more. Three, two, one. Okay, other side. Again, you can go into that side plank. Go ahead and go without me. Side plank with this one. Again, you don't have to do the side plank, but I just wanted to remind you that this is the other way to do it. Keep that hip up. You can see how high my hip is. Up. Don't be sagging, okay? Get it up there. Okay, come on down. All right, guys, triceps. Set. Let me just see what time it is. Oh. Yeah, we got time. We started late. Hopefully, you guys can stick with me a little bit. So, we're going to do triceps on our back. Let's bring in these lighter weights and bring your band real close, okay? We'll do two rounds. You felt like you didn't get enough abs. Um, I'm, uh, I think you did, but if you don't think you did, you can have your legs in a V shape, tight position. I don't know why I call it that. I get back in the swim days. Triceps. Otherwise, have your feet like this. Keep the back on the floor. Going, guys. So five more. One, two, three. You can tell it add heavier. That felt good. Just start to get the burn. Okay, guys. We're gonna bring the band across the hips. Just bring your hips up. It's more about the back of the arm. Okay. Get it more onto your leg, okay? Not here at the hip, but more onto the leg and push straight down, okay? It's a different angle. Push those hands down to the floor. Eight to go. One, two, three. Seven, eight. Super good measure. Ha! Okay, guys. Legs are straight. Last exercise, and we'll stretch just a tiny bit. Get that elbow down, arm is up, and extend that elbow. Two, three. So five more, and then we'll switch. One, two, three. Four. Other side. Five to go. One, two, three, four, and five. I feel my arms now, ladies. Roll your knees up into your chest. Roll your knees up. I'm just going to turn this down. I didn't think you're going to tell me that that music was too loud. Some of the music was. When you like a song, you want it louder, huh? <laughs> Not that I like that song, but I picked an old playlist of new and old. So you're going to grab the inside of your feet. You're going to let your knees go out. It's like a butterfly stretch. And feel the inner thigh. Okay, we're going to do the figure four stretch. We're going to need it because we work that glute a lot today. You can do this sitting in a chair, just putting that foot up and leaning forward. 
but if you want your back out of it, you lie down on the floor so it's nice and neutral and stable, and then just put that foot up. And there's really no need to even pull, because you should feel a stretch anyway. Okay, switch. Okay, let's do some side um, movements, window wipers, stretch out that low back. Okay, tuck your chin in, put your hands behind your head and lift your head up and get a stretch in the neck. You're going to step down. You're going to turn your head to the side. You're just going to put a little bit of pressure to turn your head. And then the other side. Okay, you're going to tuck that chin in. You're going to open up. Keep your head on the floor when you do this. There's just some glides of like a cervical tilt. You're going to roll to the side. You're going to go on your hands and knees. You're going to round up. And you're going to push your hips back. You're not going to quite go into child's pose, but you're just going to rock to stretch out that low back. And now into the child's pose. Hands in front. Tuck your feet in. You bring yourself up, turn your toes up, hips up, walk your hands to your feet. Feel that stretch in the hamstring. And make your way up. Roll those shoulders. There we go. Roll the shoulders back. Bring that arm in front, get a stretch in that shoulder. Well, guys, ladies, we switched. We did everything. We did biceps, shoulders, triceps, chest, back, legs, glutes, hips, abs, jaw, 